Hello, you guys. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, you know, another haul. So, but I can't help it. Um, I just like shopping a lot. And I'm, sh I'm sure you guys have already seen a lot of hauls from uh, Mac to the Beach collections. But I just wanted to show you what I got. And I hope you guys like it. Alright, these are the ones that I got from Mac to the Beach collection. I got it last week when the first day it came out. But I wasn't able to show you guys what I got right away then because I was so busy with school and everything else. This powder, highlight powder, sold out within hours from the website, from Mac mac website it's so i had to get it on thursday the day the day it came out i had to reserve it in nordstrom so the marine life pretty and i already i already tried it out this is so pretty i didn't want to mess up it mine is raised and it really is pretty it's a the seahorse is supposed to be gold but i kind of messed it up because i was trying it on and it turned into that coral pink color but it was originally gold and i loved it but the gold didn't stay longer than i thought and i kind of gave it a sheen not shimmer but kind of give it a sheen and it still looks amazing and but it didn't stay that long though you could use it as a blush and this color right here um the pink one is so pretty and the coral one oh i love this color look how nice right it was sold out in nordstrom i got the last one it's just um the 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 this is the to the beach cream bronzer in weekend the cream bronzer um the golden one i'm an nc30 in mac so uh even though if you're an nc30 or nc25 i'd still suggest get the darker one instead because the golden one just kind of like disappears when you blend it in so this one it shows up better on on any skin tone and i love how creamy it is um, i already swatched it and i played with it so uh, how creamy and look at the color it adds a little bit of a sheen and it's not glittery it's and you could use it on a contour or a blush and or um on the decollete you could use that and it gives you like you know, subtle bronze, bronzy, tan color. Okay, this is, I, I already owned uh, the, the Refined Golden Bronzer, um, which is this one right here, because this is a, uh, not a, this is a permanent product. I got another one, another backup, the Refined Golden and Lush and Hipness. This is a re-promote product also, but I didn't get it when the first day, for the first time it came out. And it looks like it's just like a satin finish. So that's how it looks. Really, you guys know that I love my lipsticks. I love lipsticks a lot. Lately, I've been getting a lot of backup. So I got, I actually got three lazy days. I know you're thinking, what? Okay, but all of these are limited edition and... Oh, God knows when it's going to come out next. And I know there's going to be a lot of... There's a, a lot of dupes for this, actually. I tried I tried on... Uh, the closest dupes that I could find with Lazy Day is... Um, Angel Lipsticks. Yeah, Angel Lipsticks is the closest to Lazy Day. And with a little bit of a snob color. This is Lazy Day. Right here. It's just a... A lot of people say it's like Saint No Lady Gaga or Saint Germain or Blooming Lovely. It isn't really. It's a bit sheer than Blooming Lovely. Um, it's kind of like angel lipstick, but with a tint of lavender. One Beach Bound. I don't know why I got this because it is a glaze, and I'm not a fan of it. I should have gotten Thrills, but I wouldn't recommend wearing it alone. I recommend wearing it with something like thrills and then wear this over <sighs> onto lip glasses i love cream lip glasses lip gloss you know as opposed to the glitter ones and 
I love my pink lip glosses. So I got three of the splashing. How it looks. Sorry about the hair. I didn't brush my hair. So I. So this is splashing. It. If you have uh, English accent, if you have English accents, I suggest not getting this one because they're both similar, but up close they're a little bit different. Okay, now uh, splashing is more pink, and English accent is more p a pink with a lavender uh, color. So I'll do I'll do a swatch on English accent. This is splashing right here, the darker pink, and the lighter lavender pink is English accent. So that's the difference. It's, you really can't tell on your lips. You easy lounger. This is easy lounger right here. Um, got two of them. Uh, this one is like pink with gold glitter and coral color, but. When you put it on, it looks sheer. So I got Love to Breeze, two Love to Breeze, because I love how the color looks. It, it matches with e Lazy Day and Splashing. It looks well, good with that. It's a combination. So I got two of them. So this is how the color looks like right there. Right there. What is this? float on by this is float on by oh I love this color it's, um it kind of like undercurrent the I don't know what collection that came out with undercurrent I have that and this is how it looks like this is float on by pretty right it's like a teal blue teal color I got two of the eyeshadows I got sweet and punchy Kind of like chartreuse pigment, but I like this better because it's in a pan already. It's not messy to use. Finish is the Velux Pro, which I love, and uh, this is the Firecracker, and it's also a Velux Pearl, and it's so pretty. It's I put this on crease, and it looks so nice. I like this color a lot. I don't have anything like this. And so, yeah, that's all I got from that collection. And I hope you guys like it. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.